welcome back or hi if you are new. My name is Brooke. I'm a radiologic technologist and I'm also an ultrasound student going into her last semester. So I graduate in October and it is now August. I cannot believe that it has finally got to the end. It has absolutely flew by. When they tell you it flies by, they are not lying. It goes by so quick and I've enjoyed every single moment of it and I've got to take you guys along on the entire journey and I'm so grateful I decided to do this before I started the program because I've got to uh, grow with you guys and you guys have watched me grow and I just really appreciate all of you. We are at 320 subscribers strong. I love every single one of you. You mean the world to me. I appreciate all of your comments. I appreciate you reaching out on Instagram and asking me any questions. I just love everything about YouTube. So thank you guys so very much. Let's get into the video. So this is what I decided to do to prepare for my SPI. I'm not saying this is what you have to do. I'm just giving what I did, my tips, to hopefully allow you guys to be as successful as I was. So I took it two weeks ago and I passed on my first try. I was so very excited. And I also took it online. I'm really going to do a video all about how I took it online, my experience, what I thought. Um, I did take my x-ray boards in a facility, so I've had both experiences now. I've done it in a facility and I've done it at home online and I will tell you which one I definitely preferred. So if you are interested in that, keep an eye out and I will have that video out soon. So this is what I did to prepare for my SPI. I started about 60 to 65 days before um, I knew I needed to take it. And that may sound a little dramatic, but I knew that I needed to spread it out and give myself as much time as possible. I do not procrastinate, but I really enjoy taking a week where I study every day, giving myself like two to three days off, and then studying again for that entire next week. I like to do 30 minute increments to 45 minute increments of studying, and a lot of people will sit down for like four or five hours a night, and that is wonderful if you have the time to do so. However, I did not, and I also do not learn that way. I tend to do a lot of smaller intervals, 30 to 45 minutes, and take study breaks. I found that that is what works best for me, so I knew I needed to implement that for my SPI. What else I did for studying for this SPI was making sure after that 30 to 45 minutes of pure studying, I had no distractions around me. I would um, take a 30 to an hour break. So I would have a snack. I really enjoyed going outside for about 30 minutes and getting sunlight. That really does help you feel a lot better. Um, I would also play with my cats and my dogs, talk to my family, do a lot of things that would relax me. Um, and then I felt like I was relaxed and then I could go do another 30 to 45 minutes if I wanted or I would just take a break for the night and work on it again tomorrow. So that is exactly what I did for about 60 days before my SPI. So in the beginning, I didn't necessarily know where to start uh, with studying. Our teacher kind of just said, you know, go through Edelman and you'll be fine. And I took that with a grain of salt. I decided to go above and beyond because I wanted nothing more than to pass this on my first try and get it over with. So what I decided to do was rewrite all of my notes that I took in the two semesters of physics. So I rewrote all of my notes. I did that on my iPad. And the things that I was struggling with, I would highlight those and know that I need to go back later. So it showed me what I already knew, what I've already retained for this amount of time, and what I really needed to work on. So once I did that, I made some note cards of like the things that I still was confused on. I bought a whiteboard off of Amazon with some dry erase markers. Highly, highly recommend because you will go through note cards and paper like no other when you're studying for your board. So the whiteboard was amazing. So then after that, I decided to go through Edelman front to back, read the chapters, take notes if I needed to, and then do the questions at the end of each chapter. Um, I felt like that hits all the key points that you need to retain for your boards. So I did that. And that is this book right here. And then to go above and beyond again, I bought the penny book. One of the other students in a different program uh, was telling me that they use the penny book along with the Edelman. And I do not think this is absolutely necessary. 
um, but I did get it off of Amazon and I thought it was worth it because there's a little bit more information. It's a little more in detail versus the Edelman. I love the registry review questions. These are very, very, very similar to the SPI. So these really made me feel prepared. And another thing that I loved about the penny book that wasn't necessarily in the Edelman that I think they really need to implement is um, the spectral display waveforms and Doppler questions like what would you do to improve this image and um, if you increase the scale what does that do if you decrease the scale what does it do this was so helpful and then I was really struggling with that and trying to understand what do you do when you do this what does it do to your entire spectral display and what does it do to your color flow so I found ultrasound registry review on YouTube he breaks it down and gives so many questions and then he'll give you time to answer explains the questions after he gives you a moment to answer the question that I found the absolute most helpful if you take one thing from this video ultrasound registry review look them up on YouTube they have a ton of practice questions I went through every single video they had of practice questions and I found them so very helpful and I felt very prepared so once I found out that they actually have a website, I rushed over there to buy a practice test, which was only $15 and you get five tries to take it, which I think is absolutely amazing. It did take me four tries to pass it. They are very tough, but you will feel so prepared for your SPI. Personally, I thought the SPI was 10 times easier than these ultrasound registry review questions. So I felt really ready and good to go. I ended up taking it in like 45 to 50 minutes so this test I felt like absolutely flew by. I felt very confident in my um, answers and my score really reflected that and I am so very proud of all of the hard work I put in and all of you guys who commented or sent me messages, a lot of you sent me messages saying you'll do great because I was very nervous. But if you do any of the things that I just told you, especially the ultrasound registry review on YouTube or go to their website, you will be ready to go. So that is all that I did to prepare for my SPI and I hope this was very helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I will answer every single one of you. So you can comment down below if you're not comfortable with that. You are more than welcome to head over to my Instagram and DM me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!